Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be giving an update on the breeding season of the diamond firetails. As you might remember in my previous video, I showed you how I selected them for breeding. And today we will be visiting some nests and see how they do. So, let's go. So in this aviary we will be giving some egg food because this pair just had their first youngster yesterday. So I just put a cup here and then we will watch the nest. Now we will all be give, also giving some insects, not too much in this aviary because I have some bearded reedlings here too and those are insectivores that's the male now let's go on In this aviary, we also have a pair of diamond fire tails, namely two brown ones, and they also have a nest. We'll see if we can take a big, quick look. Now their first nest was under societies because this is the first time breeding with this pair and I didn't want to take any chances. That's something I usually do in the first nest of a new pair. I put those under societies to make sure I at least have a few youngsters and that nest I will just leave them to do their thing. Now I will first put some of these buffalo worms for these reedlings. So also this pair also has five youngsters they hatched today. I already put them under societies so they can do a second nest. Why with this couple? Because I know this male is very aggressive towards his youngsters and towards his female and mostly he rejects his youngsters after a few days and I don't want to take a chance with the first nest especially not because it was a nest of five youngsters and brown ones he's a split brown, no other is brown so that's technically all of the youngsters will be brown and more than half were brown this time so I'm not taking my chances with them and as you see the reedlings really appreciate those buffalo worms also something interesting is I had two Tiaris Oliva Caves or yellow face grasskits fledging yesterday with the first do not know where the second one is so those fledged yesterday which is very nice and also in this aviary we have diamond fire tails on a nest three eggs. I will not disturb this female because she's brooding very well and it's also a first time for this female. So 
and I, I will show you how to ring diamond fire sails. They're basically the same as you saw in the other video with the grass kits. So you take the bird in your hand and you take between your fingertips of your thumb and your index finger the three front toes and you try to put them next to each other like this and you take the ring and you gently slide it over the first toe and then the other toes and then you pull gently and you twist a little bit all the way to the back and then you take this toe gently out well that's the first now the second Now these two youngsters were inside under my society because it was the first nest of this couple, my uh, complete brown couple. And wait a second, gently. And because it was their first nest, I didn't want to risk it. There were only two eggs, so I put them under the societies. Right now they already have three more eggs they are brooding on, so that's good. Oh. Wait a second, it's okay. And now I put them back in the nest. And uh, the parents can keep them warm again. So these are the ones I was talking about earlier. Those five hatched today. The first uh, actually yesterday evening. But uh, I moved those under the societies because I know those parents are bad parents. And since it's a big nest of five youngsters, I didn't want to risk it. Also, you can see there are three brown ones in this nest, two normal colored ones. Well, how can you see this? Well, you see this if you look at their uh, overall body color. The brown ones, those are the ones, the three above. The normal ones are those on the bottom of the nest, or closest to me. And you see their head is a lot darker. The brown ones, their head is a lot less dark. Now, it could be that one in the back, that he is also a normal one, I don't really know, because his skin is very pale next to the other ones. That one hatched yesterday evening, and I think the parents, well, I suspect they didn't feed them already. And uh, because such a pale body color isn't exactly normal, but let's hope the societies feed them well and pull it through. And... Uh, but that's how you can see the difference in color already in the nest. The brown ones are paler of color and have a kind of brown eyes. And the normal colored ones or the wild type ones, they have a dark head, dark eyes. I would like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please uh, leave a comment below and uh, consider liking this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and see you next time.